Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to configure your MetaMask wallet for Binance Smart Chain so that you can trade on Binance Smart Chain DeFi sites. So let's get started. All right, so if you're involved in the cryptocurrency scene at all, you've probably heard about DeFi. It basically stands for decentralized finance, and it's an exploding sector right now. A lot of people are trading on decentralized exchanges, and they're getting in on a lot of up and coming coins, but there's so much more to decentralized exchanges. You can provide liquidity and earn trading fees. You can borrow, you can lend. There's insurance platforms that are on DeFi. So there's a whole new world of finance that's opening up in the DeFi sector. Now, most of you have probably heard of Uniswap, and this is a decentralized exchange which runs on the Ethereum platform. And when you're running Uniswap, you connect to your MetaMask wallet. And there's a lot of people piling into these Ethereum-based decentralized exchanges and lending platforms. But the fees are high, and the wait times are long for transactions to go through. So the Ethereum blockchain-based decentralized exchanges are basically overloaded. People are paying ridiculous fees for trades. Now there's a whole nother ecosystem out there where the fees are much lower and the trade times are much quicker. The transactions go through much quicker. And this is on the Binance Smart Chain. You may have heard of it. It is, of course, hosted by Binance. And there are a lot of people now switching over and using Binance Smart Chain to take advantage of the lower fees and quicker transaction times. And there are quite a few decentralized exchanges on the Binance Smart Chain, like PancakeSwap, one of the big ones. Uh, there's Pancake Bunny, uh, Burger Swap, Fry World. Bakery Swap, Narwhal, and these are just a few. There are new ones coming in almost every day. There's Venus Finance, which allows you to lend and borrow your cryptocurrency. And then I'm going to put a link to the DeFi Station, uh, which is an aggregator which shows the top DeFi platforms on the Binance Smart Chain. But how do you connect to the Binance Smart Chain? How do you trade on the Binance Smart Chain? I'm going to show you. You're going to need to configure your MetaMask wallet to connect to the Binance Smart Chain, and then you're going to need to fund your wallet uh, in order to begin trading. So I'm going to show you both of those. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go over to our MetaMask wallet. All right, now if you don't know what MetaMask is or how to use MetaMask or how to get it set up, I've got a great video on that. I'll put a link to that up in the corner so you can get yourself set up with MetaMask. All right, now this is basically how most people use MetaMask. You'll notice here that uh, at the top here, it's connected to the Ethereum network. And then you've got an Ethereum balance, and then you've got uh, assets that you can manage and use to trade on decentralized exchanges. But in order to use the Binance Smart Chain, you're going to need to configure a new network. All right, so I've got a guide here that gives us the information that we're going to need to configure this network. I'll scroll down here. Uh, this is basically the meat of the guide, where it gives us the settings that we will put in to our MetaMask wallet. So we'll go over here to MetaMask. All right, and then we're going to click this icon up here and go down to settings. All right, we'll scroll down to networks and we're going to want to add a new network. You can see I've already got one configured, but I'll take you through the setup process. So we're going to click add network and we can call this whatever we want. Uh, we can call it the Binance Smart Chain mainnet if we want to. I'll just call it Binance Smart Chain Network. All right, and now we need this new RPC URL, which is right here. Just copy that into my clipboard, relaunch MetaMask, and you're going to have to go back through that each time. It kind of uh, flips back, but that's okay. We can handle this. All right, let's put that RPC in there. We can just paste that in there. 
You'll notice it's giving me an alert that I've already got this one configured because I do, but you shouldn't see this at all. Um, and then the chain ID, which we'll see over here is 56. Let's go ahead and add that. And then the currency symbol is going to be BNB. Binance uh, coin is the driver of the Binance Smart Chain uh, wallet, as opposed to Ethereum. And then we can put the Block Explorer URL in there, which you can see over here is uh, bcsscan.com. We'll put that in there. And then we can click Save, and then we'll have that network added to our list. And as I mentioned, I already have it configured, so it's not going to let me add a, the same one. All right. And now we'll go back to our MetaMask wallet, and you can see I've got an Ethereum balance here. Right? But we want to flip this over to the Binance Smart Chain. So I'll pull this down, and then we'll just scroll down to our brand new network, Binance Smart Chain, and we'll click on that. And you'll notice that the wallet uh, shifts gears, basically. It's basically the same uh, address that you had in your old wallet, but now it's configured to uh, connect to and deal with Binance Smart Chain tokens that you wouldn't normally see in your MetaMask wallet. You'll see uh, BNB is the main token for this wallet. And you'll also notice that it's empty, right? So uh, how are we going to deal with an empty wallet? We're going to need to get this wallet funded. All right, so Binance is the easiest way to get this wallet funded. So if you just head over to Binance, get yourself logged in. The driving token for the Binance Smart Chain is the Binance token, the BNB token. So that's the best way to fund your MetaMask wallet that's configured for Binance Smart Chain. From there, you'll be able to buy the other tokens that you're going to trade with. So you'll want to get his, your hands on as much BNB as possible. All right, so now that I've got a little BNB in my wallet here, I'm going to do a withdraw. Now notice here that in the withdraw interface on Binance, you have the choice to withdraw to a BEP token address or a Binance Smart Chain token address. You're going to want to make sure that you're using the Binance smart chain right and they're going to give you some warnings here i've had a lot of people that have are thinking that these uh, methods are just ways to save money and sending binance coin to the wrong type of address uh, so this is serious you have to be very careful with this make sure you've got your wallet configured properly before you use this protocol so we'll hit next here oh, so you have to answer these questions correctly i guess this is new like they've had a lot of people that are screwing this up. Uh, yes, I'm familiar. There we go. Okay, I understand, right? All right, there we go. Now, let's just go back over to our MetaMask. All right, we just want to put some BNB in here. So I can just click here to copy the address of my MetaMask wallet into my clipboard. All right, we'll go back over to Binance and we'll paste in that address. Notice that it looks like an Ethereum address, right? It's not what a normal BNB address would look like. It's a smart chain based address, right? And we've got the right protocol here. Let's just max it out. I would highly advise you to withdraw a small amount first just to test this out if you've never done it before. Make sure that your tokens end up in the wallet properly. But I've done this before, so I'll just do the max. Let's hit submit here. And we're going to need to uh, go through the uh, verification process. All right, there we go. Uh, so we got that going. And then uh, we'll just go over to our uh, MetaMask wallet and wait for that BNB to come in. Uh, BNB, when you withdraw it from Binance, usually uh, comes pretty quick. Much quicker than, say, withdrawing Bitcoin or Ethereum. It'll just take a couple minutes. All right, and there you can see that uh, BNB has arrived in my MetaMask wallet, and it's configured for Binance Smart Chain. All right, notice when I switch networks back, that BNB disappears, and it becomes Ethereum, right? So each network 
only shows the tokens that are compatible with it. All right, and now we can connect to these DeFi sites and start to trade. But what if you're in the US? If you're in the US, you might have a little issue trying to use Binance. Uh, Binance blocks US users. So uh, how would you participate in this if you were in the US? Well, there's a thing called Binance US, which we can use. But uh, the process of withdrawing your BNB from Binance US is a little trickier. You're going to need to use a little extension uh, called the Binance Chain Wallet. All right, I'll put a link to this down in the description below. Now, the Binance Chain Wallet is an extension very similar to MetaMask in that it runs in your browser and it's a, a non-custodial cryptocurrency wallet. But it has a little magic feature that we're going to take advantage of in that it can do the conversion between the two Binance chains, all right, which is what we're going to need. All right, so we'll just get ourselves logged into our Binance account. We'll head over to our wallet. And you're going to need to uh, fund your account and trade for BNB, right? As much BNB as you can get your hands on, all right? And you can see I've got a little bit of BNB in my Binance US wallet. Now, when we go to the withdraw interface, notice that it does not give me the option of withdrawing to the Binance Smart Chain network. It only gives me the BEP2 network, all right? And that's why we're going to use that Binance Chain Wallet. All right, so let's go launch this. Get ourselves signed in. All right, and notice that we've got two networks here, right? We can switch between the Binance Smart Chain Network and the regular Binance Network. All right, now uh, the tokens that are on our Binance US are Binance Chain, not Smart Chain, regular Binance Chain. So we want to use this wallet to withdraw our BNB. So we can just copy this Binance Chain address into our clipboard right here. Let's go back over to our Binance US account. All right, we'll paste that address in there. Notice it's regular BNB chain, right? It starts with a BNB, not a 0x. Right? We don't need the memo, so we can skip that part because we're withdrawing to our own wallet. And like I said, I would advise you to Withdraw a small amount first. Make sure you got this down before you uh, start withdrawing your life savings. Let's hit submit here. And I'm going to enter my Google code. All right. And then I'm going to need to go to my email and verify this. And there we go. Now we'll uh, just go back over here to our Binance Chain Wallet extension. Okay. And there we go. We've uh, done our withdrawal from Binance US to our Binance Chain Wallet, right? And you'll notice that this is the uh, regular Binance type chain, right? Now, now comes the trick. We're going to do a cross-chain transfer. We're going to uh, convert this Binance coin, regular Binance coin, to Binance Smart Chain coin. So all we need to do is go over to our MetaMask wallet that's set up for Binance Smart Chain. We'll just click the address here to copy it into our clipboard. And then we're going to go back over to the Binance Chain Wallet. And we're going to send. And we'll paste in that address. And notice that this wallet recognizes the fact that we're sending this Binance coin to a Binance Smart Chain address. So it's going to do a cross-chain transfer. Once again, we don't need the memo. I'll just go ahead and send three of it. I always like to leave a little bit of Binance in my Binance wallets. All right, uh, and we'll hit send here. And so it's going to go from the Binance Chain Network over to the Binance Smart Chain Network to that address that, of my Binance Smart Chain wallet in MetaMask. We'll hit send, and off it goes. All right, you can see that it goes down there. And let's go back to our MetaMask wallet. And there we go. Lo and behold now, we've managed to convert our Binance US BNB coins over to the Binance Smart Chain and put them in our MetaMask wallet that's configured for the Binance Smart Chain. Now we're ready to go. Notice here that it says not connected, right? We need to connect our wallet to a Binance Smart Chain based DeFi website. 
All right, so when we enter the PancakeSwap site, uh, it asks to unlock the wallet or connect. Either one works just fine. We'll hit unlock wallet. We'll choose MetaMask. All right, and notice now when we open up MetaMask, it's going to give us options as to which one we want to connect. All right, I'm going to use this one. I've used this before on, in a different wallet, so your interface may look different. But generally, when you uh, have MetaMask launched and you choose Unlock Wallet, it should pull up your MetaMask wallet. I'm going to hit Connect here. And now you can see that the PancakeSwap Exchange shows my BNB balance, right? And now that I'm here, I can trade for other tokens on the Binance Smart Chain like cake for example right so i could buy a little cake and get started trading staking farming uh earning in pools all kinds of great stuff right i do the same thing uh with pancake bunny all right switch that over to uh this metamask wallet right and then you can farm on bunny uh same with burger swap Notice here when I get to BurgerSwap, they give me pretty much the instructions that I gave to you guys. You can either withdraw directly from Binance or you can use the Binance Chain Chrome extension to do your conversion. All right. And you've got the Fry World, Bakery Swap. All right. So there, there are a lot of sites that you can trade on, stake on, earn, uh, all kinds of great stuff that you can do in the DeFi world on the Binance Smart Chain with much lower fees and much quicker trade times than on the Ethereum network. So there you go. Uh, to showed you how to get your uh, MetaMask wallet configured for Binance Smart Chain. Showed you how to fund the wallet with uh, BNB coin from either uh, Binance or Binance US. Uh, showed you how to connect to the DeFi sites to get started. So you got everything you need to get going. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.